The N word is one of the most harmful and nuanced words in the English language. It's also one of the hardest to talk about. Because of this, the Grant Magazine staff decided to devote our issue both online and in print to the word in hopes of sparking a discussion in the larger Grant community. My first encounter with the N-word was basically my entire childhood. I grew up in Inglewood, California, and my dad, he's in a gang. So he would say the word around me, um, my cousins would say the words around me. And so I heard it a lot, and then going to school, I heard it as well. So it was a very commonly used word. When my dad said it, it wasn't bad, but like if students at school said it, it was like, oh, you can't say that at school. Living in a neighborhood where it's predominantly black, um, Lighter skinned people are considered better people. So you're like, guys always want to date the light skinned girl and all this other stuff. So um, one time this guy came up to me and he was like, you're so pretty. If only you were a light skin, right now you look like a nigga. It wasn't so much that they called me the N word. It was that they called me out of my being my skin color and I couldn't help that it was my skin color. And that was, sure that's what hurt me. Not necessarily being called that word. The word, since I grew up around it, just the racism. Words always come with their histories, they come with certain kinds of feelings. You hear a certain word and you have a certain feeling. Just like you smell a certain thing and you have a certain memory. And words work the very same way. And over time, those meanings adhere to the word and we can't really pull them off and get rid of them. I really don't know who should be allowed to use it. I know that, you know, it's it's a word that is very, very prevalent in the black community. And I think um, the word only has power when it's used in a, a, a negative way. So I'm not a fan of anybody using it negatively. I think as an educator, when I hear that term, it tells me that in some way, shape or form that that, that kid might not have the self-respect that they need to have. I think that any self-respecting young person is not going to use a term that is universally viewed as derogatory to describe themselves. In the past, I could start a conversation in the classroom and it would, it would expand beyond my words and, um, and lots of students would help me teach it. I see that job at Grant getting harder as gentrification um, is, is pushing blacks out of Grant and our numbers uh, have gone during my time here from 23% um, way, way down. So I think that that is, is becoming a more difficult lesson to teach as Grant gets whiter and whiter and whiter. Some automatically like if it's African American it'll like slide by me I won't hear it but if it's like white or something then it'll just be weird because I know that there's a lot of racist kids here and they 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 can't say that and it's just it doesn't feel right. The history behind it like you called us that before while being rude and beating us and all this other stuff. Like, you just don't. Got treated badly, we were slaves. You can't, you can't use that word ever in your life. Like, you just can't. Even if all your black, even if you have a whole bunch of black friends, that, that's not an excuse to be able to say it at all. 
I hear coded language. I hear the N-word between black students. I rarely hear it out of white kids' mouths. Uh, which, you know, I think, I think the N-word has been uh, repurposed in a way by the black community as something powerful and not negatively powerful the way it was. Yeah! 